All right, we're here with Mules and Genies uh, head track coach Kip Janvern after the Pittsburgh State Open last weekend. Um, had a couple good performances here. Uh, Kayla Meiskins with picked up three provisionals, uh, shot put, hammer throw, and uh, discus. Uh, I guess talk about her performance over the weekend, if you will. Well, obviously um, she wasn't real happy because she got beat by some people in the mm -hmm. conference, which she's never satisfied. And, you know, that was a good start to the season, but um, she's going to get much better as the season progresses and uh, continue to do good things. A lot of those younger girls threw really well as well. So we're, we're excited about the prospects of that group of athletes. Uh, speaking about the other uh, uh, throwers, you had a couple of underclassmen also hit provisional marks, uh, and uh, Heaven Warner in the uh, hammer throw, Mary Riley in the javelin. Um, talk about, I guess, what do you expect from them, not only throughout the rest of this season, uh, I don't know if they possibly have a shot at making nationals or then even the years to come from them. Well, uh, obviously being young, um, they're still learning and going to make a lot of progress, hopefully in the future. But, uh, you know, obviously the goal of these kids is to score well at the conference meet and hopefully make the national meet. And, uh, you know, I, I like where they're at right now. This early in the season, that's great. And I know how hard they're working, so we're expecting good things later in the year. All right. Uh, on the men's side, picked up a couple wins. Uh, Kevin Denny in the 3,000 steeplechase, and then Ralph Watson uh, in the 110 meters. Uh, Watson picking up a provisional in that event as well. Um, kind of an interesting um, aspect working with Ralph. is uh, one of the Mules football players as well. Uh, during indoor season, uh, recorded the fastest time in the 60-meter hurdles among football players in all <laughs> divisions of the NCAA. Kind of a fun stat there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Working with him, uh, again, hit a provisional with spring practices coming up with football. Uh, how do you work out, I guess, training with him, working with Coach Sabota and what he needs to do for, uh, for the football team as well? Sure. Well, uh, you know, right now he's, he's mainly a track athlete, which is really, really great. You know, right. he's kind of established his position in football. But uh, uh, we are working hand-in-hand, -hand, and Coach Sabota has been great with allowing us to use some of his kids. And, uh, you know, Ralph has continued to make great strides, which has been very exciting for us. And, right. uh, you know, he He's not overly pleased, I'm sure, with how he ran this weekend, and he's going to continue to get better as well. But uh, uh, it's been a good relationship, and I uh, look forward to hopefully having more kids that uh, sprint for us and play football as well. Great. Uh, looking ahead this weekend, you're heading out to Emporia. Um, give us a little bit of a preview, I guess, of what to watch for in that meet. Well, uh, first off, it's going to be a very good meet. I know uh, UMKC, Kansas, uh, Kansas State are going to be there, as are several other really good schools. Uh, you know, we were pretty flat last week as a team, and that was kind of by design. We trained very hard and kind of training through that weekend and going to train through this weekend as well. Right. But we want to see progress, and we want to see our kids keep giving good efforts, which we're getting right now. We'll have a lot more people competing this weekend. We'll have a few more people that uh, – uh, maybe aren't taking the weekend off, but still we're not at full strength, and that's not going to be seen really for a while yet. And uh, uh, I just want good efforts out of our kids, and I know we'll get that. All right. ESU uh, relays Saturday. I think the field events start in the morning. Track coming in the Yeah, afternoon. it's 11 o'clock start with uh, field events, 1130 with some of the things on the track, and hopefully we'll get done in a good time, get our kids home for Easter. All right, great. Coach Jamron, thanks. Thank you.